Good morning, it is Saturday morning. The kids came into my room this morning, we laid in bed for hours and we watched vlogs. And yes, that is me hiding because I am not dressed, so <laughs> there you have it. Was that so hard, Bonnie, to get dressed? No. Okay, dressed for the Saturday. Lady's enjoying her breakfast. Oh, hello there. Are you all finished? Lady's enjoying her breakfast. And even though there is snow on the ground, it is not that cold out here. Do you see what the kids are wearing? T-shirts. They're wearing T-shirts. <laughs> we actually watched the vlog this morning of the Easter when the kids got that swing. It was really fun. I'm going to slip on Joel's new boots. And yes, he bought a brand new pair of boots to work at the house in. Does he already have these work boots? A pair of work boots just like these? Yes, he does, but he wanted a new pair of work boots. I don't blame him. So I'm gonna slip his shoes on and go see what he's doing outside. Do you know why I was vlogging without clothes on? Because I knew this was going to happen. I knew, I heard him working out here, and I thought, hurry and come out and film him, because when Joel does projects, he doesn't take the time to vlog. If he's making a video, he'll do that for his channel, but he just took off. I knew that I was not going to get a chance to record him, so I was trying to hurry. If I wouldn't have taken the time to get dressed, I probably could have caught him. Guys, he was in a mood. He was not happy. Well, someone thought that was a good idea until they left her. Don't worry, Lincoln's gonna save her. <laughs> I got you, little guy. I got you. <laughs> Sometimes Lincoln's the scariest to play with you, but sometimes he can save you. These see ladies like, okay, I'm done with you. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> zoomies, zoomies. See, Boston's the one that put her on the swing, and now she's running away from Boston. Like, no, you put me on a swing. You left me. I will not come play with you. Unless you corner me. Unless you make me. You have to catch me first. Oh, dang it. <laughs> See, he's like, your feet are filthy. Mom's going to be mad. Back to my original plan. You're going to swing on the swing with me. Now lay down. Act like you enjoy it. I couldn't tell you what Cody's plan is. I'm not really sure what he's doing over there. He's going to find something entertaining to do, though. Let's all bless that this day doesn't end in stitches. Okay? Can't promise anything, though. Bonnie, your house is so clean. Bonnie, how do you maintain such a clean house? How does your house look so clean all the time? Because I strategically show you the clean parts of my house. Home. Because I <laughs> Because I strategically show you the same What? Because I strategically show you the clean sides of my home. That's what I was trying to say. I said it. I said it. Oh, and I am strategically trying to get to the part where I can show you this. It's not gonna, oh, lousy me. Mm. We had a throw up incident last night. And instead of cleaning it last night when I was too tired, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna clean this. I just wadded it up. Oh, I just wadded it up and left it for need to clean up this morning. Okay, I need to get some rubber gloves. Alright, here we go. In the meantime, this is where Boston and Lady have progressed to. This morning I told Cody, he said, what are we doing fun today? And I said, you're going outside and you're going to find your own fun. So, we'll see if you <laughs> just smiled at me. <laughs> Did you see that smile? He's making his own fun. And would you look at that? I am making my own fun. Isn't that great? <laughs> I think that if I would have left the camera on and you could have heard 
how how badly I was dry heaving. You would have dry heaved too. Okay, I am completely out of these. Um, well, at least out of this one, believe me. I stock up. I've got like 10 down here in my drawer. Um, this one happens to be empty. I'm gonna put a link in the description for these, um, an Amazon link, so that you guys can try this. This scent is my favorite too, it's fresh. It smells so good. When I was little, I remember smelling my friend's laundry and just thinking how good it smelled. And maybe ours did too, but I think I was just used to it. I love the smell of, we're gonna do sanitary. I love the smell of like, <laughs> and extra rinse. I just love the smell of really yummy, clean, fragrant laundry. Goodbye, you nasty, nasty mess. This is the last mess I need to take out. Oh, you've got to be joking me. I don't think I've ever had an older kid's mess that I need to clean up like this. If they, I mean, the only like throw up, throw up I really have cleaned up is baby. Maybe Joel is the only one. This is a frozen grape. Gosh, dang it. Yes, this is one of the kids' leftover frozen grapes that is not so frozen sitting on the carpet. Disgusting. Every one of the kids I'm going through and putting um, a lip mask on their lips because they have got the most dry, cracky lips and it's because the weather is starting to change. Um, if you guys didn't see my empties video, I have a lip mask in that video that has this product that even my kids, Cody was like, mmm, what is that? Mm, I used to it smell it. it. It smells really it good. Really it tastes really good. It smells good and it actually works. Cody's lips are like crackling. Mommy, this cheese smells Mommy good. Mommy can eat it. I know. It's okay, good. Okay, you're not eating it. I think this is very good. It's like a booger. Oh my gosh. Well, I told them that someone threw up last night. Do you want to tell them about it? Yeah. Last night I was dreaming that I was eating some Root, and then when I was actually going up in Maria, but then when I woke up, I just saw a big puddle, and I'm like, oh man, that's good. And that's it, basically. <laughs> and, that was, and that was history, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you feel better this morning? Yeah. I'm glad you feel better. I think it was all the stuff. Can I hear all of it? Yeah, he said he thinks it was all the stuff he ate last night. And Cody is kind of notorious for overeating oh, no, and then the barfing. Mouthwash. That's kind of... He, he ate the mouthwash. Wash. Did you drink the mouthwash last night? No. Oh, okay. I'm teaching Cody the fine art of uh, making mac and cheese. And I'm so proud of him because he makes it the way I... He likes it the way I do. We like extra milk, don't we? Oh, we forgot the butter. Are you gonna shred it or? Oh, shred the butter? Yeah. No, I'm no. going to cut off a couple of cubes. <gasps> Joel is here, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell everybody why you are so cranky? I have a good reason. He does. Let's hear it. I'm making mac and cheese. Oh man, that sounds good. And well, I so. A couple months ago, my buddy said he would give me these axles and tires and everything for my trailer, which I thought, that's amazing, because I wanted to change them anyway. They would look nicer, they would be better, heavier duty, all that garbage. I went to do all of the airplane today and change them, and um, they didn't work at all. No matter how I tried, the axles were too short, so I thought, oh, I'll just change the hubs. Took the hubs apart, they didn't fit. I thought, oh, I'll just change the inner part so I can at least use the wheels and tires. Nope, that didn't work either, so. I just had to tear it all apart and put it back together for no good reason. I came out to film you and you were gone. And I was like, he's gonna be so sad. To film me? Oh. Well, no, because I knew you were taking those oh, I know axles it. and wheels back. He really has been wanting to do that, but it's all right. It was the best of both worlds. It was an upgrade in quality. It was an upgrade in look. And it was free 99. That means you can't beat that. And for none of those to work, that was a real big disappointment because I don't, still don't want to spend the money. So, old tires and axles it is. I think I say this every Saturday that we're home, but didn't it just feel good to like have a normal Saturday? I mean, Ellie and I spent about 30 minutes on the phone figuring some stuff out mm -hmm. for work, which really sucked. But 
It's nice to have like a normal Saturday doing normal Saturday stuff, right? It did feel good. To do the chores or things that I've really set aside to do that I'd like, yeah. would be a Saturday only activity and that was fun. What? When are we gonna get our bikes out? Not till the snow is completely gone. Mm. Because it's melting right now, but the moment I get them out, it will snow again, and it's just not worth it. Sorry, yeah. bud. You guys, I have some huge news. We are going to start demolition on this house this coming week. But something that's been going in my mind over and over about this house is if it's a clean home to be doing this. Now, I know it smells like awful, awful animal urine. I think the previous owners had a lot of animals that weren't kept very well in this house and so it smells in the carpet really, really bad. This home also was kind of not known well in the community area when I've talked to people around here and so it's kind of had a lot of traffic in and out. Um, and so thinking about all of that, I thought this possibly might test possible for methamphetamine. I don't know if they did drug use in this home or anything like that, but I need to know that for my own sake because I've been bringing my family in here um, I am going to be bringing my family in here to help me tear this place out and any of that stuff I don't want in the air. So I wanted to do a test for methamphetamine. Luckily there are tests online you can buy. Now given these tests are not like foolproof, all they will say is that you've either got positive or negative. So you're either good or bad or either way. And so I did a test on the house. And these are the results that I got. The C means that it's constant, means that the test has been met and then the MET means the meth. Now according to this scale, the fainter the line on this MET area, the more meth that I have. This is a positive test for methamphetamine within this house. That's gonna put a wrench in things because I don't know if it's safe or not for the kids to be in here. I don't know if it's safe for even me to be in here. Um, there is a lot of odor in this house and this is just something I think I'm going to have to deal with. I'm a little bit shocked right now. I was already disappointed with the trailer axles and the tires and everything this morning. I'm even more disappointed now because it means more work that we've got to do on this house to mitigate that. That really sucks. Hey, Bon. Yeah? Um, will you come here real quick? Are you dressed? <laughs> well, funny you ask that. I have to ask. You're dressed? have to ask that. Um, our house tested positive for methamphetamine. Like what does that even, what does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure. I just know it tested positive and we've got to do some is digging now. Is it fine? Now. Like is it still something that like... I'm not entirely sure. I do know some people that deal with this stuff so I'm going to call them and see what they say. What I do know is I don't think we should let the kids be in there or we should be in there until... I was just gonna say, like, does it matter that we've been in there? Well, I think we gotta hold off on our... Demo? Demo, until we find out some more information, so. Demolition? Um, demo is short for Joel, demolition to a lay person. that's literally insane. Isn't that crazy? But I'm glad I checked, because I honestly just felt like this could be a dirty house a little bit. I asked what, well, obviously it's putrid. But like drug dirty, you know what I mean? But Joel, Wow. Well, with that fantastic news, I think Bonnie and I are going to close the vlog here <laughs> and figure that. out what we're going to do about this. Is this the beginning? This is, guys, this is just the beginning. I've gone through, I've gone through remodels before. I know exactly how they go. Do you think I'm surprised? Well, okay, yeah, I'm a little surprised <laughs> with that one. That's a little bit of a surprise, but it doesn't surprise me. No. that garbage is already starting to happen. This is the surface. Joel, this is only the surface and I know it. I bought you a house. Joel bought me meth. <laughs> Ooh, let's search and see if there's any left over anywhere. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys. What did you do? I saw that I was like, is mom pregnant or something? <laughs> and what if she was? I, I wish she was. I wish she was a girl then. Oh, so that's hilarious. I don't know if this has gender. Olivia walked in and saw that. How did you even know? That's so funny. Lots, lots of videos of when Aunt Ellie yes. knows that she was pregnant with Jackson, Calvin, and Tommy. Yes. So, yes. And, that's so funny. You, oh, and yeah. mine with Lincoln. Would you grab me um, a, a baggie to put this in, maybe? I, do you want it? Like, is it weird that I think that's like gross? I'm like, oh, I don't want to touch super it. Super gross. That's why I want to put it in a baggie. But I think I need to give this to whatever 
okay. laboratory or somebody. I don't okay. know. Somebody's got to see this thing. Okay, bang.